Well, summer 2020 was supposed to be one of the best economic job markets, but it's turned out to be one of the worst. Yeah, that could mean a uh, big struggle for recent college graduates to find work or anyone who's looking for employment after massive layoffs. Uh, Angie Kayu, president and co-founder of Twin Cities-based consulting firm Kayot, joins us now to talk about ways people can look uh, to stand out. And Angie, I think one thing that's really interesting is talking about the digital presence as a whole, because maybe especially kids and uh, college uh, students could think LinkedIn, Instagram, a totally different audience, but uh, the reality is it might be the same. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, we do, um, at Kia, we have a program called Crew 212 that launches young talent. We've been doing this for about 12 years, so we are very adept at asking and talking with our young people about ensuring that their digital presence is clean. Um, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all of those things need to be really showing your brand and who you are, um, along with tailoring your resume. We believe really, uh, we tell all of our young people to make sure that as as you're posting your resume and applying for jobs, it's essential that you tailor that resume to that job rather than sending 50, 100 resumes to multiple jobs. Make sure that you're tailoring and building a story as you apply for those different jobs. Angie, let's talk a little bit about follow up, especially in this time period where some companies won't be hiring. How much do you follow up? Do you obviously say thank you, but do you, do you keep trying to, to talk to them? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, the Gen Z and millennial talent in our country, they're amazing young people, but follow-up is, is a struggle, and we really encourage you. You cannot follow up too much as long as you're kind and understanding. Um, following up on a regular basis, a cadence that you follow up is extremely important. Remember your audience. Uh, if you're following up to someone who is an older generation, ensure that you're following up in a method in which they can intake such as handwritten thank you notes or um, a, a thoughtful email. Make sure that you are helping to tell your story. Um, another point we give a lot of um, young people is just demonstrate your work ethic. Um, many, many people, including my own daughters, um, uh, internships have been canceled this summer mm -hmm. and when something like that happens um, I tell people be kind and understanding know that all executives and all companies are trying really hard during this unprecedented time so a little bit of understanding goes a long way find ways to demonstrate your work ethic and demonstrate um, build your own personal brand your own story for example if you want to be in construction project management uh, go volunteer for an organization that is rebuilding a part of our community that's been destroyed by recent um, economic and um, unprecedented times. Go help a company. Um, if you're interested in management, go help and work for a food shelter. Work yeah. for someone that is um, is distributing and pick up some of that experience regardless of whether it's a formal internship. Great. Angie, Great thank advice. you. Yes, yeah, so, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. On July 14th, Kiat is hosting an interactive discussion on how recent and soon to be college graduates can set themselves apart in this challenging job market. You can go to wcco.com slash links to check out Kiat's website.